Hi, my name is Anne, and I'm the author and illustrator of the children's book, Help Find Frank. In the book, Frank the French Bulldog runs away from home, and we have to help find him. My friend Kristen is an elementary school art teacher, and since we're all stuck at home right now, she's finding creative ways for her students to still learn art at home. Teachers are seriously angels on earth, you guys. She thought it might be fun for kids to learn how to draw Frank and asked for my help. So what do you think? Do you want to learn how to draw Frank? All right, let's go. The supplies you'll need to draw Frank are a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and you can use the eraser on your pencil if that's all you have. And then you'll need colored pencils, markers, or crayons. I'm going to be using colored pencils and the colors I'll be using are black, dark gray, pink, light pink, and teal, but you can use whatever colors you'd like. To start, I'm going to draw a rectangle for his head with rounded corners like this. And then for his body, I'm going to draw another rectangle that's about the same height, but almost twice as wide. So this is going to be a longer rectangle. And again, I'm rounding the corners on my rectangle. Now that we have the general shape of his head and his body, we're going to work on the ears. So I'm going to draw two little mountains, one mountain on this side of his head and one mountain on the other side. And these mountains have curved tops, not really pointy tops, but so maybe they're more of a hill. You can draw two tall hills on each side of Frank's head like this. Now we need to connect these ears back to his head where they're floating off on the paper. So where it's on the edge like this, draw a curved line connecting it back to his head and then do that on the other side as well. Now you know how to draw French Bulldog ears. Okay, so now we need to connect the two rectangles that make up his head and his body to give him a uniform shape. So I'm gonna draw a curved line right here connecting the rectangle on the left side and another curved line on the right side that curves out like this and around his bottom. I'm also gonna trace over the line between his ears to define that portion of the top of his head. Okay, so now we have Frank's body. We're gonna add on some legs. And for the legs, I'm just gonna have you draw some little rectangles coming off the bottom of his body. So the first rectangle leg we'll put right here all the way to the left. And you're basically just drawing a long rectangle coming straight off of the edge of his body. And then right around the middle, we're gonna add a second leg, same shape as the first. And then we're gonna move over all the way to the right and then leave a little bit of space so it's not going to be right on the edge. We're going to move in just a little bit and add a third leg right here. And then in between those last two legs that you drew, we'll add the last fourth leg that's actually behind Frank. All right, so now that we have our rectangle legs, let's add some curves to them to make them look a little bit more like dog legs. So at each of the bottom of the feet, at this back corner, let's add little curved lines like this to make them look like they're pointing forward. Next, follow the curve of Frank's bottom and connect it to that back leg like this. And at the front of that back leg, we're gonna add a curve like this that goes up into the body. Now for the two front legs, we're just gonna add some lines like this up higher into his body so that you can see the legs coming out of his body. And then let's draw a line in between those two front legs to connect them. And then you're gonna connect the second leg to the last leg because that, that leg in the middle is behind him, remember, so it's okay for the line to go in front of that leg. Now we're just gonna add Frank's tail by doing a little half circle right about here on his bottom. So just draw half of a circle right over that area. Okay, so next we're gonna draw the inner portion of Frank's ear. And basically you just follow the shape of the outer ear and draw the inner ear like this and then connect the bottom of the inner ear with a line. 
Okay, so now we're gonna draw Frank's snout. And basically, you wanna just go in the middle of his head and draw an oval shape. It's gonna be a wide oval, not so much a tall oval, but wide and short oval like this. After that, we're gonna do a smaller oval for his nose. So right at the top of the oval you already drew, draw a smaller oval inside like this. And then we're gonna add his little mouth. And um, you draw a line, a curved line down going out, and then another curved line going the other way, and then connect those two curved lines with his smile. Now we're gonna work on Frank's eyes. So to start, I want you to just draw some lines on the side, the top side of his snout for the bottom of the eye. On each side, draw a straight line like this, and that's gonna be the bottom of his eyes. And then to make the whole shape, draw a curved line, like a half circle almost, on top of each line. And that makes the general shape of Frank's eyes. For the pupils, we're gonna go back and draw circles inside of those half circles. So just draw a circle, a big circle, almost filling it in the middle of those half circles. Next, we're gonna draw the markings on Frank's fur. So Frank is a black and white or dark gray and white dog, and we're gonna draw those markings on his fur. Above his snout, you wanna draw two curved lines like this. They kind of curve out towards his ears, and that's the white stripe that's on the top of his head. And then under his snout, we're gonna draw a curved line like this, and because his head is black and his neck is white. Then we'll add this curved line here on his left side, that's kind of one of his spots, and another curved line on the right of his second leg right here. Now it's time to add some of his fun little details. The first thing we're gonna add is his tongue. I'm just adding two curved lines inside his mouth, like this. Then I'm gonna add some little whiskers on the side of his head, one on this side and one on the other side. Next, I'm gonna give him some little eyebrows, just little curved lines above each of his eyes. And then we're gonna add some little toenails or dog nails, whatever you call them. So I just add three little lines at the bottom of each of his feet. The last thing we're gonna add is his bow tie. If you've read the book, you know he wears a polka dot bow tie. So just draw a little circle for the center of the bow tie, and then two sideways triangles for each side of the bow tie. Now the initial drawing of Frank is pretty much done. So I'm just gonna go in with an eraser and erase out all the extra lines that I don't need anymore. Remember how we drew some rectangles to help us with the shape of his body? We can erase all the lines from those original rectangles. And we're gonna also erase some of the lines that go through his feet, except for this one line that's supposed to be behind him. You can leave the line that goes through that foot. Um, and so just go around and clean up anything that you know doesn't need to be there anymore, any extra lines, sketchy lines or shape lines that we don't need anymore, you can go ahead and erase. So now take whatever you're gonna use to color Frank. Again, I'm using a colored pencil, but you may be using a marker or a crayon and that's just fine. And take the, a dark color like black and outline Frank so that you can see all of the lines you've drawn really clearly. So I'm just going around and tracing over the lines I've already drawn with black to outline them. And for his bow tie, I'm going to outline it with this teal color because that's the color of the bow tie. 
Okay, now it's time to color Frank in. So first I'm gonna take my black colored pencil and color in the pupils of his eyes, the round circles in his eyes. And I'm leaving a little white area that I'm coloring around and I, I call that the sparkle of his eyes. So you can do that too if you want to. Next I'm gonna add a feature to his nose that I call the swirl of his nose. So starting at the top of the nose in the middle, you draw down and draw a little swirl towards the bottom center and then do it again on the other side and that makes it look like a little doggy nose. Next I'm going to take my dark pink colored pencil and trace the lines that I drew for the tongue. I'm going to take my black colored pencil again and fill in the back of the mouth that's not the tongue. It's on the very left side of his smile with black because that's like the whole of his mouth. Next I'm going to take my dark gray colored pencil um, it's a little bit lighter than the black, but you can use black too if that's what you have, or any color gray would work. And I'm just gonna start filling in the areas of Frank that are dark gray or a blackish color. I like using dark gray instead of black because then you can see the black lines better that we drew. So um, if you use something that's a little bit lighter than the first color that you use, that will help show the outlines of his eyes and his pupils and, and his eyebrows and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color in all the sections of Frank where his fur is this dark gray black color. So his head and his ears are this dark gray color except for his snout and that stripe going up from his snout. The rest of it is all dark gray. So just color in around all the elements like his ear, the inner part of his ear, his snout, the stripe going up his head, around his eyes and around his bow tie until you have his head all colored in. Next we have this little spot over on Frank's left side that is also the dark gray black color. So we can fill that in here. And Frank's whole back end is also this dark gray color too, so we can fill that in, all dark gray. Including the back leg. The tail. And the foot that's behind him over here. The other area I'm gonna use this dark gray color for is his nose. Again, I'm using dark gray instead of black so that you can see the black swirl lines we drew in. So I'm coloring that in with the dark gray. And then I'm gonna take my black colored pencil again and go over the areas that I colored in black, like his pupils and um, the outline of his eyes so that we can really see them. So I'm just darkening and thickening those lines so that you can see, so that they stand out from his gray, his dark gray fur. So I've done the eyes now, and then I'll go in and do his little eyebrows. And then I'm gonna take the light pink and fill in his inner ear with the light pink color and the other one as well. I'm also gonna use this pink to color in his tongue. Next, I'm gonna take the teal and I'm gonna start coloring in his teal bow tie. But one thing I wanna do first that you can do too is add some polka dots. So I'm just drawing some little circles on his bow tie. And then when I'm done drawing all the circles, I'll just color in around those circles so there's little white polka dots on his bow tie. Next, I'm gonna take my black pencil again because I wanna have the bow tie pop out more. So I'm outlining the bow tie with my black colored pencil so that you can really see it stand out from Frank's fur. I'm also gonna go in and draw over his whiskers to make them darker and then draw use the black pencil to draw in his little dog nails. Now I'm just taking my eraser again and cleaning up any um, colored pencil that got on the white around him and any pencil lines that are still left behind so that he's nice and bright and white and then I'm gonna just lightly brush away the little bits of eraser left on my paper and I see I forgot one more thing so I'm grabbing my black pencil again and adding in Frank's little whisker dots okay he's all finished 
and you've just learned how to draw Frank. I would love to see your drawings of Frank. If you want to share, please ask your parents to post them on Instagram and tag me at Anne was here and there. If you do, I'll share them on my Instagram feed. I can't wait to see your drawings of Frank.